Welcome to my Power Pivot screencast, an introduction to the time intelligent functions in DAX. What I want to show you today is how the Power Pivot time intelligent functions work and what you can do with it. We start with a simple Excel sheet filled with data. We have sales amounts, we have calendar years, we have months, we have a territory, and we have a product name. What I want to show to you is how we can use the year to date so we can see from the first date to the current month is how much data we have and I want to show to you how we can compare that with the same month last year and with this year to date of last year. What we're gonna, what we're gonna start with loading the data into Power Pivot. We're using the table function in Excel. First we create a table, then we go to Power Pivot and we say create link table. This will make a copy of this table available to Power Pivot. We're loading the data into the Power Pivot environment. Okay, this is it. Now we have the data available in Power Pivot. And you see we have year, month, sales director, product name, and the sales amount. The first thing we have to do is make sure we have a date column available. As you can see, we have a, tech, a number, a number, number, text, another text. But we have a date. We need to have a date. So we're going to compose one. We just use the function date. Where we can say year. Okay, this is table one, calendar year. And we use table one, month. And we just, we don't have a day available. We, ju we just use day one. Okay, and what it does is it creates a date column. As you can see, and now the data type is date. We give it a name, date. Okay, so far there are, we have a date column available to use the time intelligent functions. This is all that's needed in your data. Okay, now we go into the pivot table. And we want to insert in this pivot table. We want to insert in a new worksheet. Okay. Okay, what we can do now is just use the sum of the calendar year per month. As you can see, this works. This is the current sum of all the sales amount that has been done in one month in one year. What we're gonna start with is to use the we create a new measure with a year to date. So we're gonna create a year to date and we're gonna use the calculate function. And what a calculate function does is we use we have an expression which we can filter. And, we, and what we want to do is we want to filter the sum of the table one sales amount and we only want it to show us the data of the current year to date. And we can just use the function dates year to date. We have quarter to date, we have month to date, dates in between, but we want to use the dates, dates year to date. And what we have to give here is that we have to oh, table one date because it says which dates do I have to refer to. Okay, we have to refer to the date field within the sales amount. And what we have to do in CTP3, it's, this is temporarily, we have to say all table one. So it uses the uh, calculate over all items into the calculate. Okay, no error in the formula, and we go and see what is going to do. As you can see, the year to date, okay, we make it a little bit more. We use number, we use two decimal places, and we're going to do the same here so we can. Okay, as you can see, we have year to date available. You can see this month with this month together, this month, and it's working its way up. Okay, this is just how easy you can use the uh, time intelligent functions. Next, 
something a little more difficult. We want to see the sales amount of the same period last year. Sales amount same month last year. And we're going to again use the calculate function. Calculate sum of table one sales amount. And again, we're going to use the filter, but now we're going to use the function parallel periods. And with parallel period, we can return a parallel period of dates by the given set of a specified interval. So we can say, okay, we have more, I want the parallel period of the table date. I want it to use the minus 12 interval and I want it to use the month. So I want to go back 12 months with the current month. Okay, the all table one. Again, this is only needed to see the P3 and this is will be fixed in the final re release. Okay, and you can see we go back a whole year. So you see this one value compares with this value, this value with this value. And again, to make it better readable, I use the format cells. Okay, now we want to do the year to date of the previous year. Again, calculate sum of table sales amount. And again, we're going to use the parallel function, parallel periods. But we're, and now we're going to use the dates year to day again, which we did in the first value, but now on the same period of a year ago. Okay, we use minus 12, again months. We see we combine the two functions we used. Okay, and again, we need to use the all. Okay. And now we have the same values as we see here. So we have the year to date of a year ago. Now, as a final, we want to show you I want a sales amount to table sales amount year to day previous year. And they say we have we can make profit when the when we make five percent more than previous year. So what we're gonna do is we're going to say we the estimate sales amount of this year is the sales amount of previous year the year to date times 1.05 so we're gonna make five percent more profit okay i'm going to put this one out and we have the same value again i'm going to do the number numbers okay we have five percent more profit okay and from the final version Final measure, we're going to compare the two, the cur current sales year to date minus the estimate. 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 Okay, and we're going to do that by using sales table, sales amount, year to, year to date minus sales amount table estimate sales amount okay check no errors and we can see how whether we do it better or worse and we can just use quickly use a color scale and we do it in all and we can see when we're doing it better or worse than last year thank you for watching my screencast on time intelligence functions in PowerPoint. When you have questions or comments, please visit my blog.